Hi, Leo. Welcome to Music Messages Tarot. If you are returning, welcome back. I've already shuffled the decks. I'm going to give them another last shuffle before we begin, but I do want to cleanse our energy space for today's reading. This is the mid-month check-in for September 2023. Um, as I always kind of state on all the videos, though, the videos are timeless, so whenever you come across this message, you are most likely meant to hear it at that time. I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. I am filming this on a Monday. Um, I've already shuffled the decks that we're going to be using, but I do want to see what comes through. We had one of your cards come out today, Leo, on the daily three-card check-in. So we had the sun come out. So you may want to check that video out because it may resonate with you. High Priestess energy. So we have Piscean energy here. Um, and the need for somebody to go within and listen to your inner self and your intuition about something. Five of Pentacles. You or somebody connected to you is feeling kind of left out in a situation. Um, some of you may be dealing with financial issues right now as well. Uh, but I'm getting that for most of you. This is pertaining more to like an emotional relationship type context where you or somebody who's connected to you is feeling left out of your life, okay? And the daily check-in had to do with secret admirer energy coming across for somebody. So this might very well be the person, if, if the secret admirer message is for you from today's three card, um, this very well might be the person who's been looking in on you, having romantic feelings for you, feeling like they're left out of your life. We're going to clarify on all this, but I am getting that message for somebody. Yeah, Five of Cups. This person is in feeling like this sense of lack and being left out. Um, and I, I'm getting that some of you don't know who this person is. Like on the surface, it would be somebody really illogical. Somebody, and what I mean by that is somebody you wouldn't expect um, if you listen to that, I hope it's uploading as a short because it's supposed to be like a daily short three card reading that I've started to do. Um, don't know if I'll be able to do them every day, but I try to do them at least before some of my longer readings to get a read on what the energies are, like what the overall energies are for the collective. Um, and I'm getting that this high priestess energy is letting me know that you don't know on the surface who this person is who's been looking in on you and that it's actually going to be something that your intuition tells you. If you've been thinking a lot about somebody, especially somebody from your past, it's not going to be that for everybody, but for some of you, it's going to be somebody from your past, like an ex. Um, for some of you, it's going to be someone that you almost had a relationship with. Like somebody that uh, things seem to be going on the path of you two getting together and then it just never kind of came to fruition. If you've been thinking about one person in particular a lot lately, that's actually like you picking up on the fact that they've been very focused on you and your energy. All right. So it's something that your intuition is going to make obvious to you, not your logical mind. Okay. And I'm getting that this five of pentacles, five of cups energy is the other person. So they're really, they're really feeling very sad and left out and like they don't know how to get into back into your life, okay? They want to reconnect with you, but they don't know how to right now. This is a side message and I normally wouldn't get it from these cards, but I'm picking up on somebody who may actually currently be battling with an addiction or may have dealt with an addiction of some type in the past, particularly alcoholism. So this might pertain to this energy that's attached to you who's kind of like secretly admiring you from afar. Um, but only you will know how that resonates. It could be another energy that's attached to you as well. The sun coming out again, Leo. Okay, so this is, I and I was shuffling the cards for a bit there. So came out in the three card reading for today's energy and it's coming out again in your reading. Your intuition is going to illuminate this situation. It's going to tell you who this person is. Some of you are going to be shocked. Like I see somebody's jaw dropping when you realize who this person is who's been looking in on you. 
Um, I, I definitely see them noticing your glow up. I see somebody kind of clicking through pictures on social media. Um, so yeah, they've definitely noticed the glow up that you're in. Um, just the fact that you're, you know, you're thriving, you are, you are elevated is the word that I keep hearing here. So it's like this person has you up on some kind of a pedestal in their mind. And I just feel like it's going to be someone who you really don't expect Okay, you're going to be like, am I dreaming when you find out who this person is? Because first, for some of you, you haven't had contact with this person in a really long time. You haven't thought about this person in a really long time. And it's just, it's shocking to you. It's not something you see coming. That's exciting. I mean, we are moving into the fall season here, which happens to be one of my favorite seasons. And I don't know, I just feel like this renewed energy coming in right now. It's going to be a really like romantic time for you is what I'm picking up here. Three of Pentacles. This person wants to work on rebuilding their connection with you. Okay. So this five energy here of Pentacles and of Cups, it's kind of propelling this person to come towards you. And they really want to kind of establish, open the lines of communication is what I just heard. So they're trying to figure out a way like how to even kind of get their foot back in the door in your life. Um, but also, once they're in your energy, how to work on building this connection back up with you. They're not somebody who wants to be on the sidelines, on the periphery of your life, marginalized out of your life. Okay, so even if they send you some kind of DM, um, just letting you know that they want to catch up or something, they're not going to want to leave it at that. They want to actually find a way into your into your day-to-day -day life, okay? So... They might also be, this is a side message, you or this person might also have some kind of third party situation going on right now. So you might be in a relationship, this other person might be either in a relationship uh, with some kind of karmic energy or coming out of that relationship. Just a side message that I did get for some of you. Okay, three of swords, wow. Leo, this person is heartbroken. They're heartbroken. And I get that this is in multiple ways. They're heartbroken because they want to be in your life, okay? They don't know how to get in. They don't know if you're going to reject them when they show up. Also, though, I'm getting that they're coming out of a very painful situation in their own life. Like I said, this might be somebody who was struggling a little bit with addiction at some point. Um, I'm also getting that for some of them, they're leaving like a long-term relationship or marriage, all right? And that it has them in this emotional state of five of cups, three of swords, okay? Let's, let's get some clarity here. This person is really going through it right now. Um, and again, you're not going to expect them to come towards you. You don't even, I, this might even be somebody like you just randomly started thinking about again recently and you don't know why. Um, I'm also getting that music is going to be heavily significant for someone in this situation. I mean, this is Music Messages Tarot. We always kind of channel different songs that come through, and they usually connect to the larger messages that come through. I'm not getting a specific song right now, but I'm getting that songs that you're going to hear, like if you're at the store or something, they're going to remind you of this person. And they're not going to be songs that you hear all the time. It's going to be like very specific songs or lyrics that connect to this person, and you're going to be shocked. You're not going to even know why it's coming up or why you're thinking about this person again. Okay, let's get some clarity here on the High Priestess energy. We know that this is a need for you to listen to your intuition right now, uh, Leo. We have the Two of Wands in reverse. So a very appropriate card and energy to come out on the High Priestess because... You're being guided right now by spirit to go within and kind of look at, listen to that intuitive voice. Let it guide you, even if it doesn't seem logical right now. I think some of you are going to struggle with that. Like, it's going to seem so far-fetched and like, why is this person back in my consciousness? I haven't thought about this person. For some of you, it might even be years that you've even thought about this person, but that's what you're being guided to do right now. Judgment. Judgment came out on the three card today, but it's in reverse here. Yeah, if you use your logical mind to figure, to try to navigate this situation, it's actually going to lead you astray. It's actually going to negatively impact your judgment. This is a situation you have to trust those gut feelings and those deeper feelings. 
Um, some of you may even need to meditate in this situation is just what I just heard. So to kind of connect to the messages that are trying to come through to you through your own intuition, it's going to seem very, very illogical on the surface. Now, I'm not suggesting that you you behave in any kind of rash way or do anything um, like dramatic <laughs> or... Uh, do any don't you know I'm not suggesting that you do anything out of character or make any kind of major moves I would allow this person to come towards you because they are they're steadily kind of um, moving towards you they're just kind of trying to muster up the courage to reach out they don't know how they're gonna do that quite yet um, but in terms of whether or not you should accept this offer I 100% think that you should let your intuition guide the situation and not overthink it too much all right. Five of Pentacles. This is the other person's energy for most of you. Three of Wands. Oh, yeah. They're feeling left out of your life. They want to know the best way in and what action they should take here to come into your energy. They really desperately want to talk to you or communicate something to you. So some of you may be even receiving a message. I wouldn't be surprised if we got the Knight of Swords. Seven of Wands. They're feeling a little bit defensive, though. Like, they don't know how you're going to receive their energy. They don't even know if you'd ever really... Like, if you'd be open to reconnecting with them. Maybe this is somebody that, uh, like I said before, you were on the path to kind of being with at some point, And it just fell through, and they feel like maybe you have a uh, bitter taste in your mouth from how things ended between the two of you. All right, so they are feeling a little defensive. They have their guard up a little bit. That's going to be up to them to decide when they feel comfortable coming toward you. For some of you, this is your emperor or your divine masculine energy. Um, and he, and I do use that pronoun for the DM, is in the five of cups right now. Like I said, part of that is because they feel left out of your life. But part of that is this person's going through some kind of a tower in his own life. The tower has not come out, but that's what I'm sensing some kind of separation, divorce, some something in his life, some kind of foundation has crumbled and it, it has him feeling broken down, um, broken hearted. And it also has him feeling like humbled where he's been reflecting on different parts of his life, different relationships he's had. And he has focused in on you. Like for some reason, um, he's feeling very extra kind of attracted to your energy and brought back to you even if this is somebody you haven't connected with in a really long time. All right, what else with the Five of Cups here? He sees you in this Nine of Cups energy. Also, he, he, he sees the potential of being with you, Leo, to be like a wish fulfillment, like you're everything that he wants at this time. Um, could be dealing with an Aries for some of you but also this is the energy he sees you in like very unbothered very um normally I'd get that off the nine of pentacles but very unbothered very self-sufficient very happy on your own um like you have everything you need emotionally all right so yeah he is feeling a little like his his guard is up his walls are up he doesn't quite know how to go through with this but he definitely wants to communicate something with you Let's get some information here on the Sun card. More Leo energy here. The Hierophant in reverse. Uh, yeah, some of you are going to be finding out that this person is actually going through a divorce or a separation right now. Um, it might also be someone who is kind of unconventional, doesn't really live his or her life the way everybody else does. So someone who's a little bit eclectic is what I just heard. Or like... There's something about their lifestyle that's different than a lot of other people. But for some of them, they are going through a divorce or a separation, and you're going to find out about that. They might even tell you this. The lovers in reverse. Yeah. Gemini energy. Um, also, just kind of echoing what I said before, this person is in some kind of state of imbalance in their own love life right now. I feel like something, some kind of long-term connection that they've been in, for some of them, a marriage is completely falling apart um and they're gonna come to you they might even like come to you as they want you to be kind of like a shoulder for them to cry on at first because something has definitely broken down in this person's life and i'm also picking up an energy of someone who 
was very used to living their life one specific way for a really long time. So this massive change or tower moment that they're going through is, it's like breaking them down to their core, okay? They really do need support. They're craving the support of people with positive energy and higher frequencies. And they see you as this like pillar of strength, right, Leo? That's your one of your other cards too, the strength card. They see you that way. They see you as somebody that they can lean on that could possibly offer them some positive support during this time. But don't make, you know, make no mistake, they have extremely romantic feelings for you as well. I'm just kind of picking up on somebody who is coming out of a difficult situation at the same time. That they're realizing these romantic feelings for you. We have the Three of Pentacles. Let's get some clarity. What's this Three of Pentacles spirit? We have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. not knowing. Yeah, they're they're confused right now. They're trying to weigh out the situation, but they feel blocked mentally. A lot of this has to do with the emotional turmoil that this person is going through, but um, they know they want to work on building some connection with you, but they feel blocked in how to do that right now. Again, I, I feel like you're being guided to let this person come to you, even if and when your intuition lets you know who this person is, the secret admirer energy. Um, I don't feel that you're being called to act on it. Um, I just, you know, kind of continue with your self-love, your self-care and maintaining a very receptive energy. And on this person's own time, they're going to decide when they feel comfortable reaching out to you. The tower, and I'm not surprised, okay, the tower, that is what has this person kind of feeling mentally blocked right now. They're going through a major tower in their life. This is not like a little blip. This is a major destruction of some kind of foundation. I'm getting a clear message that it's a marriage for someone or some kind of long-term relationship. And it's just, they've been with this person for a really long time. Um, and they're not really, they're not really sure how to proceed. Like they don't know who they are anymore because they're so used to their life going a specific way or um, having certain things a certain way in their life okay they know that they have romantic feelings for you but at the same time this is like a complete destruction of how they've been living their life and you know for anybody that would be very jarring and upsetting so that's the emotional state that this person is in um, and they are even a little bit surprised that they've like had this revelation and these romantic feelings in their mind happening towards you because, you know, they didn't expect to feel any kind of romantic feelings towards anybody right now. But um, maybe they came across you on social media. Maybe they just had a memory or a dream about you. They feel inexplicably drawn to your energy, Leo. And um, even amidst this like very chaotic time in their life, they know that they want to make this connection with you. All right. We know this Three of Swords is their energy, but let's just get a little bit more information here turning out to be kind of an interesting reading. Six of Cups. This is somebody some of you know from your childhood or your adolescence. I'm getting high school for somebody. Um, and they are just they're in the Three of Swords right now, like I said, because they want to connect with you, but also because of what they're going through. Um, if you've never met this person in this lifetime, this is a soulmate connection. So they're going to feel very familiar to you when you come across them. And then we have temperance in reverse. It's Sagittarian energy, but uh, this person's having a hard time regaining their internal balance right now, which is why they feel so clouded and so blocked mentally, even a little bit emotionally. Like they know they have deep romantic feelings for you and they feel pulled toward your energy. But at the same time, it's like this tidal wave of melancholy and brokenheartedness that they're trying to navigate. So for some of them, they're going to have to allow that internal state to kind of calm down and regain regain their own um, internal balance emotionally before they decide to come towards you. So I do get that a lot of you are going to be receiving communication from whoever this uh, secret admirer is. It might not be instantaneous, though. So it might be something that takes a little bit of time. And like I said, you're being called to be in your receptive divine feminine energy and allow this person to move at a pace that they're comfortable with. Okay. 
We're gonna pull one oracle card and I am going to read from the guidebook today since we're just gonna end with one oracle card. Um, we are using the Herbal Astrology Oracle, which is one of my favorite oracles to use for any reading. I just feel like a resonance with this oracle deck. And I highly recommend it to anyone who like collects tarot decks or reads tarot. It's just a really good energy off of this. Yarrow. We got the Yarrow card, which indicates harmony. The number 15 might be significant. Maybe you knew this person when you were 15 or a teenager or in high school, like I was picking up on before. Um, you and this person have the potential for an extremely harmonious relationship. Um, I do get that it's romantic. Okay, that might not resonate with everyone. This might be someone you have more of a friendship with, at least at first. But you have the potential for a really deep romantic connection here. Um, for some of you, you may be dealing with a Libra just with the scale imagery here. And I'm just getting that this is karmic justice for both of you as well, for you two to be kind of moving together into some kind of union here. Okay, so let's get some guidance from the book. I do like reading from this book. Um, upright, this card represents equilibrium, balance, discernment, nourished psychic shield, divinatory empathy and sensitivity okay and the guidance says if you're feeling emotionally drained or too sensitive for today's world it's time to set solid boundaries to regain balance i definitely get that that message is applicable to your person it may resonate with you as well though leo take it as it resonates Use your empathetic abilities as grounding cords to your psychic powers and divinatory skills. Allow your sensitivity to be a filter for what is allowed within your psychic field and what isn't. Like the magic of the white heron, move slowly with precision as you navigate emotional waters. Heron teaches us the power of self-reflection as a way to transcend judgmental projections and low self-worth. Draw clear boundaries and examine yourself from a detached perspective. Don't blame situations or others as a reason to remain stuck. Yarrow's white light teaches us the power of shielding while remaining gentle in the process of self-discovery. So that might be really helpful advice as you kind of continue to focus on your own self-growth. I definitely hear a message of you needing to listen to your inner voice and intuition overall not just regarding this situation like I think some of you need to continue to tap into that intuition to help guide you overall in many aspects of your life um, and that also maybe some of you are dealing with some some feelings of low self-worth that might need to be examined a little more closely um, I do get though that for the majority of you most of that message pertains to your person and how he or she is how that person is trying to navigate their current emotional state. They're feeling like a raw nerve right now just because of all the major changes that are happening in their lives, okay? And this is not to diminish any romantic feelings that they have towards you, but I mean, try to be empathetic in seeing that this person, you know, no matter how romantically they're feeling towards you, if they're leaving a relationship that they've had in their life for years, decades, whatever it is, and it feels like a major change that they maybe weren't even ready for, of course that person is going to feel emotionally raw. The good news here is that they're seeing you as this kind of like beacon or pillar of strength energetically in all of this. You've resurfaced in this person's mind and they feel very, very drawn to you during this time. It's just gonna be a little bit of a chaotic situation for them right now. And they're going to have to regain that balance internally before they feel comfortable coming towards you. They are watching you a lot though right now, Leo, okay? And your intuition is going to tell you who this person is. Like I said, just focus on your own self-growth and remain in your receptive energy right now. And this person will come forward, you know, when they feel comfortable and on their own time, okay? I hope this resonated. If you can like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. It would really help our channel grow. I would love to hear in the comments if any part of this did resonate for you or if something happens that uh, we predicted here in this video, I would love for you to return and let us know in the comments, you know, how this manifested for you, okay? 
Um, other than that, though, I am wishing you all the peace and harmony, and I hope you have a wonderful Monday. Bye-bye.